Hey everyone out there, so today is our Advent Guru Tech Tip Tuesday, and so I wanted to talk about analyzing your executive's calendar. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the tech tip in a minute, but I just want to bring this up. If you are new to a role, or you are just, if you've never done this before, analyzing your executive's calendar is really important. I cannot stress that enough. Being able to visually look at a calendar, calendar and say, wow, they're like really busy, um, or wow, this week is really open. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you pulling a report from Outlook and looking at their calendar and say, okay, here's all your bi-weekly one-on-ones. Here's all your meetings on such and such topic. These are all your prep meetings for A, B, and C. And so looking at that in a very strategic way, so you're analyzing what's happening and you're able to give some recommendations. And that is really important in this role as a business partner that you're able to look and say, let me give you an example from my personal work experience. I was supporting an executive, I was brand new to the role, and um, I was told that he was extremely busy, and I went in and I, and I pulled the report, which is something I always do, I always, always, always do, when I'm supporting a new executive. And come to find out, well, no wonder he felt like he was so busy and couldn't get anything done. He was meeting one-on-ones 20% of his week. And I was like, wow, okay, that's not, <laughs> that's not productive you know as this level uh, you know he's a CEO like you can't be doing that and getting everything done if you're spending 20 percent of your week on one-on-ones so pulling some of those reports and saying okay and then reviewing them and you're able to look and say okay this is what we currently have going on um, I don't see that you have a lot of work time and you're you know you're stacked back to back let's kind of go through this and let's see if there's anything that we can change come with the solution, right? So you can look and say, I think some of these that are at a bi bi-weekly basis, can some of these be moved to a, a different slot? Can they be moved to a monthly basis? You know, some of these that are every single month, can they be moved to a quarterly basis? So kind of providing that solution and allowing that time to spend with your executive and figuring this out, not only shows that you're a business partner, but it also shows that you have great business acumen. So you kind of going over those sessions with your executive will help you understand what's priority in their mind. It'll help you understand what's happening in the business and it will help you understand in what order things need to happen. Be the strategic business partner. All right, so let's flip over to how you actually do that in Outlook. All right, so Admin Guru Tech Tip Tuesday is coming right up. Hey everyone, this is your Admin Guru Tech Tip Tuesday tip. We are talking about analyzing your executive's calendar. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is go to File. Then you wanna to go to Open and Export. From there, go ahead and click on Import, Export, and choose Export a File, and then Next. You wanna choose the Comma Separated Values or CSV file, hit Next. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my calendar. All right, so here, let's just change this. I'm going to just say Melissa's export. Then hit next. You can go ahead and just hit finish at this point. You, this is not relevant for what we're doing. So just go ahead and hit finish. And because you have reoccurring meetings on the calendar, it's going to ask you how long of a date range should I look for. I'm just going to do two months on mine. But if, it's the, if this is the first time that you've done this, I would highly suggest you doing a year. Now, of course, this is going to take a little bit of time if you do a full year. So uh, don't do this sometime when you're like right in the middle of needing to schedule a bunch of meetings. Um, and then go ahead and hit OK. It's going to export it from there. I told it to go to my desktop. All right, so from here, it imports all of the information that you'll need to analyze your executive's calendar. Of course, you can go and filter it. You can sort it by subject, anything that you want to do. You can look on your recurrence. All of the information is here for you to analyze, with the goal being that you analyze the data, then you go back with your executive, schedule time, sit down with them, and have a very uh, real conversation about how they're using the time is the right cadence um, happening? Is there things need to get to be pulled forward or pushed back? So this is where you get all that information from. There's another tool that you can use. So let's go back to our Outlook calendar. And then 
If you notice, once I click into the search bar, all of these new options come up. I'm going to get rid of these so you can see what it looks like without those there. So if I wanted to check all the reoccurring meetings on my executive's calendar, I'd click more and then down here under reoccurring and I would choose the option of yes. And then it's going to put up pull from here all of the meetings that are reoccurring and, and here it is by the start date. If you'd rather choose the subject, you could do that. If you try, would rather by category, you could do that as well. Um, and then let's just go ahead and get out of that. Let's just say that you, um, let's do a different organizer. So as you can see, there is a ton of tools in here for you um, to utilize and figure out, you know, what is happening within my executive's calendar. I would highly suggest if this is something that um, do the, the full export first and then from there, once you've done that, you can on a quarterly basis utilize the search option and kind of look through there and making sure that everything is still in the right place um, or where it needs to be. So I hope this is very helpful. If you have any questions, as we always do, comment below, ask your questions below, and we'll be sure to answer you. Thanks everyone and have a great day. Bye.